Hello guys, this is Adris here and in this quick video I'm going to explain closures in JavaScript. So before I start coding and showing you the example how uh, how we can use the closures in JavaScript, I just want to give you uh, a simple definition to have a better understanding. So a closure happens when a function returns a function which uses variable from the outer or main function. Uh, so what do I mean by this? Uh, here I have an example uh, which is uh, we have a function called outer and this function has two things. It has a variable um, this str which is set to this string remember me and then it is returning an anonymous function and that anonymous function is returning uh, str which is defined this in this outer function okay so basically it is using this str uh, variable from the outer function which is defined in this outer function okay so a closure happens when a function returns a function so this function is returning this function okay uh, the outer function is returning this anonymous function and this anonymous function is using the variables from this outer function okay which is this str so now when we invoke this outer function and this is that outer function is going to return this anonymous function which is just going to be a uh, function definition okay and then then later when we invoke this inner function that is going to return this remember me even though it is defined in this outer function okay so how is this happening this happens through closures so to have even better understanding let's jump into vs code and do a, a example okay so let's let's just do that all right so now i'm gonna go and create a function here i will name it list and in this list function uh, we are going to have a variable uh, i don't know items and then we are going to set it to an empty array for now and we in this list function we want to return an object here okay and this object would have two methods the first one would be uh, add items I mean maybe I don't know so this is going to be a function all right and this can uh, receive an argument okay and then in here what we can do is basically items sorry items dot push okay and then when we can put item here if I can spell I should have <laughs> chosen a different name anyways and then we're going to have another uh, method okay so that would be get items okay and that is also going to be a function okay and then uh, we may want to grab those item and console log them okay so we will do console log and then items okay so now as we have this list uh, function we are going to invoke this okay so because this is going to return an object uh, object with two methods so we need to store it okay so first I'm gonna go and do cost maybe uh, grocery list my favorite one okay so we will just do list all right and then once we have this grocery then we can add the add items to this grocery okay so we can do add items all right and we can pass uh, I don't know uh, eggs all right and then once we have that oops sorry then what we can do is basically do grocery and then get item or maybe print items it sh should have no name it print items anyways so if we do this it's gonna print out uh, an array uh, which is which has a value eggs okay because we are adding only one uh, item here uh, to make it even better we can just remove this uh, argument and then just spread out arguments so we can pass more okay uh, arguments and now we can do multiple items here so maybe milk and bread okay uh, yeah. 
all right now we're gonna get the full array all right so let me just explain it again quickly so here in the list we have items array which is completely empty in the start and then we are invoking this list and uh, which is which has this uh, this object okay which has two methods which ca one can add items and the other one can print items basically okay so now we are just invoking the list and then we are adding some and then we are getting back some okay and we can also create more lists okay so say shopping maybe sorry guys I would do a lot of typos uh, okay so list we are again uh, we will do the and now we can do shopping and then add items okay and then maybe uh, t-shirt and then pants I don't know <laughs> alright so if we do this and then if we uh, do shopping and then get items alright and now we're gonna get two lists because again th this is all happening through closures okay so we here we are doing a bit of uh, functional programming by the way so uh, first when we do this uh, we are invoking list and then uh, we are adding items and getting items and then we are invoking the list again and then we are storing into this so this will not even though eh, initially it is the same function okay but this is this is creating private variables actually so they both are the both lists they both are separate okay they have their they both are private so this is how basically closure works in functional programming so um, I know it is a bit of advanced JavaScript but uh, trust me if you rewatch if you have to uh, this is the easiest example I could give you guys so very simple it's very easy once you understand the definition so again I will repeat the definition of when we have a function which returns another function or object which uh, which uses basically uh, variables from the main function or outer function okay and this is where uh, closures ha happens okay and this is all happening through closures okay so I hope guys this was helpful and you have learned from something from this video so if you did please like the video and remember to subscribe to my channel uh, if you like this sort of uh, videos for JavaScript so I will see you next time okay thank you so much for watching